Hey everybody, Jamie from the Rain Doctors YouTube channel and we got some noise going on out here and it's gonna be a surprise for you. The boy Teej is in there, say hi Teej. So what we're gonna find out is, is a 154 as powerful as a V6 per career Mariner. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do cylinder drop test on each individual cylinder. We know that uh, number one, we know is firing because we've already done that one. We're gonna move on to number two. Start it. Watch it. Okay, so we saw that uh, the, the numbers are coming in lower than they were when we had all suspected five were on. On to number three. Watch it. Number three is working. Start it. Watch it. Okay. Four is working. Number five. Start it. Watch it. All right. So we're gonna loosen the dyno off a bit and we're gonna run it up. And that's not a fix, but it's a check. And we're gonna see if it wants to run up. Maybe he's just got really old fuel in here. Start it. Is this tack working? No. No tack? Okay, because it doesn't sound like it's opening up anyway. All I'm getting here is gassed out and a bunch of fuel that ain't burning. All right, so I've got it set right now for where we would set a typical 150 is a quarter turn. Start it, punch it, let's see. What One hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty horsepower. We're gonna go ahead and hook up our fuel supply and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've switched uh, fuel supplies. Supply, sorry, and put ours on, and now we're gonna run it up and see what we get. Hey, punch it. Yeah, it's no better. So, one thing that we did note when we originally started this engine is that water was leaking out through the top of the exhaust panel here, or exhaust plates, which typically means that someone got it hot over time and those gaskets might have been crushed. So, with force engines, that's never a good thing because we could now be introducing water into the engine and that could be causing an issue. We don't appear to have any fuel problems. We've gone ahead and hit the primer to throw more fuel at it while we're at high speed and the RPM doesn't pick up. So it's not like it's starving for fuel. We did the electronics, the electronics all work. We got, uh, we did a cylinder drop down test on all five cylinders. They're all working properly. We just ran new fuel through. So everything should be good as far as that goes. And I really don't want to pull that side cover off for the simple reason that Oh, it, it could all be a mess inside. So if water's been getting through since the guy's owned it or since he bought it, the guy just bought it, I guess. So it, it's hard to say why the guy originally sold it, probably because it was down on power. Uh, we'll have to talk to the customer, see if he's happy with his 115 horsepower or ask him if he wants us to keep going. 
If there's any more in this video, I'll be happy to post it for you guys. But for now, that's it.